Yo, 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 what's up everybody, welcome back to Tangas Club. In this video, I will be talking about this big box here with this big derpy gun, the Vindicator tank Ultra Marine. I'm doing this video today because this tank is right now available in the store. So to focus now on this tank, so firstly, this tank got a high TPM. If you are not using gun right, warmer, it's really very simple. If you are playing, as I told you, against uh, yeah tier and now to the play style with this tank what can we perform with it on the battlefield how to drive this vehicle how to drive this vehicle i got for you two nice battles the first one is this one in hellas the helsing is blocking me thank you for that mate i like such uh, dickhead team players like this okay so we're going to play it uh yeah i'm here against tier a tanks and as i told you against tier, tier a tanks against higher tier tanks play it carefully from this since try not to be spotted and i mean in general um it's like playing for example with a su-152 or something like that you know uh, uh yeah just play from this since wait for the opportunity to slap look at this i miss my first shot so so close to hit that m41 with the he shell but yeah whatever happens let's try to keep pushing i'm seeing the rhm right there i'm playing by the way this battle with my boy jordani war from our clan a very skilled player and let's try to hash no not to hash to he that centurion here we go it's gonna be Enemy difficult hit. for me now and we did it 390 only the tracks i wanted to hit his bot and deal maybe 700 800 damage but we are going to try to do this on that rhmb waffen trigger here we go aiming aiming and here we go nice we finished that dude higher tier tank destroyed and now let's keep pushing so let's go down here and we got only three heavies left i think yep and the first one is the THN waiting for us there. And here we go, guys. If I'm not using premium shells, look at the difference. So definitely go for premium shells and for calibrated shells. Because if I didn't switch to my premium shell, I wouldn't be able to penetrate the TNH-105. Here we go. Another nice slap. He saved my life. And now I will try to hit... They gave it three mine, 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 mine. Yes. Here we go. That was a nice battle, really a complete battle against higher tier tanks, and uh, yeah, showcasing us all the powerful gun, the great armor that we even can block some damage against tier eight heavies. Um, yeah, how to play with it? Playing in the beginning, careful from distance, then pushing and trying to rely on our frontal armor to get uh yeah the maximum of damage if possible um, in this case that was possible to play aggressive to push on the enemies only two enemy tanks left and a bunch of allies so if i will be destroyed in that case i knew that my teammates will do the job so that's why i risk it but we shouldn't really risk a lot against tier 8 heavies because as we saw we are easy to penetrate and in this battle, I was the best player of my team in point of damage. And Jordani also did a great battle dealing 1.6k of damage with his T26E3 Eagle 7. With this second battle I got for you guys, gonna be also a nice one with a big ammo rack. You don't wanna miss it. And yeah, we are actually was going medium side and going together with Jordani to my uh, TD spot to our TD spot, but we recognize that um, yeah, there is no bar here. So, um, so I'm thinking that they will come now from behind, from the back. They are all or they gone all heavy side, and now they will come behind us. That I will say now to Jordani to be careful not uh, expose uh, your sight to them because they will now surprise us from the back. And we have now to positionize our vehicle to find another spot to be ready um, if they rush on us. Trying to get the VZ441 first. Here we go with the premium shells dealing 452 of damage. Then rolling back. So here 
is really a very good position. I'm using this heel here to go up, sneak a shot, roll back and hide again. So that's a perfect position for my tank, for my TD. And it's also, by the way, a perfect position for a hull down vehicle, but uh, there is no hull down vehicle tank. It's missing. For example, it would be uh, a perfect position for that T56 golem right there if he should come to me. But that's okay. I will do the job long with my big derpy gun. Here we go. Armor exploded. No more yacked panther. Okay, so far so good. I'm reloading and I'm thinking about my next move. I mean, it's a game here. But it's actually more than a game. It's a strategical game and it's like a chess game. You have always to be thinking what are you going to do Auto next. Players, look at this. How hard it is to penetrate uh, the object 25 to you from the side even with premium shell. So I decided to push now on that object 25 to you and to go for it. And boom. That's it. We got him. And uh, yeah, also again a battle uh, which is uh, showcasing at all against uh, again against tier eight uh, heavy tier eight uh, higher tier tanks, and uh, we saw also in this battle how to play with this tank, what can we perform with it, showcasing us all and all what can we do with this beast, the Vendicator. But in my opinion, um, this tank, let's say it's not really worth it. To go for because as I told you in the beginning of this video we have plenty of tier 7 TDs which are, which are really better than this thing in point of mobility and